Hi, this is Jangla from Crafty Crochet Castle and in this video, I'm going to show you the pattern to crochet these tiny little cars. Pair these cars along with my drawstring bag, roadmap and I'm sure these would make lovely gifts. I hope you would crochet these along with me. To crochet the car, I'm using all of these materials. The details are in the description box below. We are going to need a tiny amount of yarn in all these four colors yarn in the main color for the car some polyfill stuffing 4.5 mm crochet hook tapestry needle scissors stitch markers is optional let's get started working on the car i'm using a red color yarn here first i will do a slip knot followed by chain seven So now we'll be working on this chain. So I will work on the second chain from the hook. I will do one single crochet in this chain. On the next four chains, I will be doing one single crochet each. Now we'll be down to the last chain over here in this chain I will do three single crochet so now our work would have turned over by itself and we'll be working on this side of the chain so on the next four stitches I'll be doing one single crochet each we'll be down to the last stitch over here in this I'll be doing two single crochet and I will join using a slip stitch and complete my row one. Now let's get started working on row two. For this row, I'll start off with chain one and I will do two single crochet in the next stitch. Next, I'll be working one single crochet in the next four stitches. Now we'll be down to the corner. I'll be working two single crochet each on the next three stitches. I'll be down to the other side. I'll be doing one single crochet in the next four stitches. And on the last two stitches, I'll be doing two single crochet each. This row would have a total of 20 single crochet and I'll join here using a slip stitch. You can also use a stitch marker to mark the end of each row. Now let's begin working on row 3. So I'll start off with chain 1 and begin working on the back loops only. So this is the back loop. Normally when we are working we'll use two loops. So for this row I'll be working only on the back loops I'll be doing one single crochet in each stitch across the entire row would be done on back loops only this row will have a total of 20 single crochet At the end of row 3, I'm going to join using a slip stitch. Let's get started working on row 4. For this row also, I'll start off with chain 1 and I will do one single crochet in each stitch across. This row will also have a total of 20 single crochet and at the end of this row, I'll be joining again using a slip stitch. For row 5 and 6, I'll be following the same pattern as row 4 and I'll meet you at the end of row 6. 
now we have completed six rows in this car it's time to work on the windshield so i'm going to put a pause over here so i'm taking my white color yarn i'll do a slip knot and attach this yarn to the next stitch over here to attach i'm going to insert this in the next stitch i'm going to yarn over and pull through this white loop so now i have attached this yarn i'm going to do chain one and do one single crochet in the same stitch i'll be doing one single crochet in the next five stitches For row 7b I'm going to do chain 1 turn my work around and work one single crochet in each stitch across I'm going to work on row 7c I'll do chain 1 turn my work over and do one single crochet in each stitch across so there we have completed three rows using this white yarn each row has six single crochet and i'm going to finish off over here so i'm going to insert my hook back in the stitches over here begin working on row eight so for this row i'll be working single crochet across this side of the windshield top of the windshield side of the windshield and again across the entire car so i will insert my hook here and in the corners i'll be doing two single crochet do one single crochet here and again in the corner i'll be doing two single crochet so now i'll be doing a single crochet across this and in the corner i'll do two single crochet So now I have done a single crochet across this windshield. Here I have done a total of 14 single crochet. Two in each of the corners and one single crochet in each stitch across. Now I'll be working a single crochet across this entire car. I'm going to do a slip stitch over here to join and finish my row 8 now let's start working on row 9 for this row I'll start off with chain 1 and I'll be working on the back loops only for the next 14 single crochet After completing 14 single crochet in the back loops only, I'll be working on my remaining 14 single crochet in both the loops. And I'm going to join off over here using a slip stitch. We've completed 9 rows in this car. A car structure is beginning to form. Now let's work on row 10. I'm going to start off with chain 1 followed by 1 single crochet in each stitch across. At the end of row 10 I'm going to join again with a slip stitch to finish off and I'll begin working on row 11 and 12 I'm going to follow the same pattern as row 10 for row 11 and 12 and I'll meet you at the end of row 12 after completing 12 rows our car looks like this 
Now let's get started working on row 13. For this row, I'll start off with chain 1 and I will do one single crochet in the back loops only for the next 14 stitches. And I'll be working a single crochet in both the loops for the next 14 stitches. And then I will join using a slip stitch and complete this row. Once again, I'm going to put a pause to the red color yarn over here and begin working on the back side windshield. I'll be working across these rows over here. So I'm gonna take my white color yarn, I'll do a slip knot and attach this yarn to the fourth chain from the place where we finished. So I'll be attaching it over here on the fourth chain. So I'll be doing a single crochet decrease first from the fourth and the fifth chain followed by one single crochet in the next four stitches followed by a single crochet decrease so we would have finished this row as a total of six stitches to work on the next row for the windshield that is row 14b i'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch over here yarn over and pull through and without completing this stitch i'll turn my car around and insert my hook in the next stitch and grab a loop so now i'll be having three loops on my hook i'll yarn over and pull through all three loops next i'll be doing a single crochet in the next four stitches so now again i'm down to the corner so i'll insert my hook in the next stitch yarn over and pull through without finishing this stitch i will insert my hook in the next stitch that is on the car i'll yarn over and pull through so now i'll have a total of three loops on my hook i'll yarn over and pull through both the stitches in this way we are incorporating the sides of the car along with this rows so now let's work on the last row in this white yarn so i'll be inserting my hook in the next stitch in the main body of the car yarn over and i'll turn my work around and i'll insert my hook in the first stitch yarn over and pull through now i'll complete this stitch next i will do four single crochet next i'll be doing a single crochet two together i will do one single crochet in the main stitch and the next one from the car corners and i will complete this stitch and there we have finished three rows and we have used up the sides of the car as well so i will finish off over here So we are basically doing what we done over here but in the reverse order now let's get started working on the main color so i'm going to insert my hook in this for this row i'll start off with chain one followed by a single crochet two together one from the main body of the card and one from the windshield next i'll be doing a single crochet in the next four stitches next i'll be doing a single crochet decrease one from the windshield and one from the body of the car so now we have done a total of six stitches over here i'll be working one single crochet in the remaining 14 stitches so that we'll have a total of 20 single crochet in this row 15. join using a slip stitch i'll be repeating the same pattern for row 16 17 and 18 the pattern is chain one one single crochet in each stitch across and at the end of each row i will join with a slip stitch each row will have a total of 20 single crochet and i'll meet you at the end of 
row 18. At the end of row 18, our car looks like this. Now let's start working on row 19. For this row, I'll start off with chain 1 and I will be doing one single crochet in each stitch across. This time, I'll be working only on the back loops. This row will also have a total of 20 single crochet. Go ahead and stuff your car. Make sure to stuff in this edge properly so that you get the proper shape of a car. At the end of row 19, I'm going to finish off over here, leaving a long tail. So now let's sew this opening close. I'm threading this long tail in a blunt tip needle. I'm going to fold the last row into half and I'll be sewing up the back loops of both the stitches. And I will weave my tail in. To weave the tail, I'll simply insert my needle through one of the stitches and pull the needle out through a random place. If we trim this opening, our car will be done. Now let us crochet the wheels. I'm going to start with my grey yarn. I'll do a magic circle. Followed by six single crochet in this ring. Now I'm going to pull the tail to close off the opening and I'm going to join with a slip stitch and finish off over here. Let's begin working on row 2 for the wheel. So I'll take my black color yarn, do a slip knot, then insert my hook through any of the stitches in the row 1. I'll yarn over and pull through the loop. And now I'm going to do chain one and begin working on my row two. For this row, I'll be doing two single crochet in each stitch across. This row will have a total of 12 single crochet. After doing 12 single crochet, I'm going to join at the top over here using a slip stitch and finish off over here leaving a long tail. So I'm going to make two of these to complete each wheel. So here I have made the second one and I have thread this long tail in a blunt tip needle. To assemble the wheel, I'm going to take both the wrong sides of the wheel together Hold it together and begin sewing up these two pieces. While sewing up, I'm going to use only the back loops for both the pieces. You do not need to stuff in this pattern. I'm just going to push all the other yarns inside so that they get weaved in. After sewing both the wheels together, I'm going to finish off over here with a knot and I'll be weaving my tail. I'm going to leave this long tail because we're going to use this tail to sew the wheels onto the car. So you can go ahead and crochet more wheels. Now let us crochet the headlight. So I'm taking my yellow color yarn. I'll do a magic circle followed by five single crochet in this ring. Now I'm going to pull the tail to close this off and I'm going to join at the top top of the first stitch over here using a slip stitch and finish it off. I'm going to leave a long tail over here. You can go ahead and crochet one more headlight using this pattern. I'm going to crochet two tail lights in white color. Now let us crochet the bumpers. I'm taking my gray color yarn. I'll start off with a slip knot followed by chain 10.
now i'll be working single crochet in the chain that we've just made i'll go to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook this is the first chain and this is the second chain from the hook i'll do one single crochet over here and one single crochet in the remaining stitches so we would have done a total of nine single crochet for row one of the bumper so now i'm going to do row two i'll start off with chain one turn my work over and work one single crochet in each of the stitches this row will also have a total of nine single crochet at the end of row nine i'm going to do a slip stitch to the bottom chain over here and finish off leaving a long tail there we have crocheted the bumper for our car so here are all the crocheted parts to complete this car the next step would be assemble them to finish our car so i'm going to take my wheel i'm going to thread this long tail in a blunt tip needle position the wheels in place and sew it up next thing would be to place the headlights and the bumper on the front followed by the tail lights at the back so here is my finished car i hope you would crochet these along with me crochet these cars along with the drawstring bag and i'm sure these would make lovely gifts for little ones please show your support by subscribing to my channel thank you for watching